This is the GMC Sierra 1500 AT4, and today we're going to review it. Today we're working with our friends at Snell Motors in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two guys, guys in a Ride. ride. And say, Nate, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Oh, nothing interesting today. No, not at all. Not at all. Ha! Today we're taking a look at the 2020 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. That's right, and it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. But say, before we do, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to know how to use all the technology and infotainment systems that are built into them, plus you like cool collector car stories, Take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below, leave us a, a comment, and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. That's right. So, what do you say, Nate? <laughs> the only let's, thing there is to say. Oh, let's, let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. The GMC Sierra 1500 is available in three trims. There's the SLT starting at 44300 the AT4 at 51000 and the Denali at 54700 And you have the availability of regular cab long box, double cab standard box, crew cab short box, and crew cab standard box. Plus, you can get them in either two-wheel or four-wheel drive. This is the AT4, and it's presented here in onyx black, and it has a jet black with Kalahari accented leather interior, and it's stickered at 68,805. Now, the AT4 is powered by a 6.2 liter Echo Tech 3 V8 with dynamic fuel management that produces 420 horsepower and 460 pound foot of torque. And it's driven by a 10 speed automatically controlled automatic transmission with an auxiliary oil cooler. Now, out front, I love the big, bold presence of this grill and headlights. And these are LED headlights with LED signature daytime running lamps. And down below, you have LED fog lights. I like the big, bold black chrome grill with the horizontal bars and the big GMC logo in red. You also see it then does have the body colored front bumper, and it does have front ultrasonic park assist. It has uh, two red vertical recovery hooks, and up top on the windshield, there are rain sensing variable intermittent windshield wipers. Let's take a look at this beauty along the side. Okay, this particular truck does have the oil pan differential and transfer case skid plates, and these are beautiful 20 inch midnight finish wheels, and they're wrapped in 275-60R20 SL all season Blackwell tires. Now up front, it is an independent suspension with Z71 off-road suspension with two inch factory lift, and it has Rancho brand monotube shocks. Out back, the rear suspension is a solid axle with semi-elliptical variable rate two-stage multi-leaf springs and splayed twin tube Rancho shocks. It also has an automatic locking rear differential, a 3.23 rear axle ratio, and a two-speed auto track transfer case. It does as well have four-wheel anti-lock brakes, and they are 13 and a half front rotors and 14.1 inch rear rotors. I really do like the body colored wheel arch moldings as well. And this does have rear wheelhouse liners. And I like the six inch rectangular uh, uh, steps, assist steps. And these are of course heated auto dimming power folding outside mirrors with puddle lights and they have the black mirror caps. You also do have the body colored door handles and they have the uh, sensor for locking and unlocking and it has the black belt line and side window trim with the rear dark tinted privacy glass. Let's take a walk around back. Okay, up top there is a uh, deep 
tinted rear window and you see it does have a power sliding window and it does have a defroster as well. There's also a bed view camera and it does have uh, LED cargo area lighting and you do have the tailgate and bed rail protection caps. Now, they are LED tail lights with incandescent reverse lights and this is the GMC multi-pro function six pro, uh, multi-pro six function tailgate with lift assist and it has the built-in kicker audio system as well. Now, put that back up real quick. And that is a surround vision rear view camera with hitch guidance and hitch view. It has the body colored rear bump bumper with corner steps and I really like that. And it has the ultrasonic park assist. This one has the trailering package with the two inch receiver hitch and four and seven pin connectors. There's also a cat back performance exhaust system with dual outlet exhaust and they have the black exhaust tips that are integrated into the rear bumper and that's just so sharp it looks really good. Okay let's take a look inside and as I said this is the uh, the GM Multi Pro uh, tailgate and there we go. Okay this does have the Carbon Pro Carbon uh, Fiber Composite bed. There are 12 fixed cargo tie downs rated at 500 pounds per corner and then of course there's a full-size spare tire mounted underneath the body at the rear of the truck between the frame rails. Maximum cargo volume is 62.9 cubic feet. Cargo bed floor length from here to the front 79.4 inches. Cargo bed width 69.92 inches. Cargo bed width at the wheel houses 50.63 inches. Cargo bed height 22.4 inches. So Let's talk about some of the safety systems available on this Sierra AT4. You have hill descent control, stability track, electronic stability control uh, system that does also have traction control. There is rear cross traffic alert built into the tail lights there. I like that. There is side blind spot alert. You have forward collision alert, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking one of my favorites, front pedestrian braking, and of course, so very much more. So, what are some of the packages that are available on this Sierra AT4? Well, you've got the AT4 uh, preferred package, there's an AT4 premium package, there's the step, uh, assist step and tonneau package, which this one has, and then there's a cargo convenience package, a driver alert package one and two, an off-road performance package, a performance upgrade package, and a technology package, and I'm pretty sure a few more things, including wheel and tire upgrades. So let's talk about some of the dimensions. Okay, front track 68.1 inches, rear track 68.3, overall width 81.24 inches. Total length 241.25 inches, height 78.2 inches, and wheelbase 157.05 inches. Ground clearance 10.07, approach angle 28.7 degrees, departure angle 27.2 degrees. Curb weight 4,887 pounds, payload 2,113 pounds, and max towing 8,800 pounds. Turning circle, 46.3 feet. Fuel uh, tank capacity, 24 gallons. So let's talk about some of the safety. Well, it has an IIHS overall rating of good and a NHTSA overall rating of four out of five stars. Performance, zero to 60, 5.3 seconds, standing quarter mile, 14.1 seconds, Top speed, 106 miles an hour, and braking 70 to zero, 195 feet. And appearance, well, I like the high confidence stance with all the bold lines and details. Huh, let's see, dependability. Basic warranty, three years, 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty, five years, 60,000 miles. Roadside assistance, five years, 60,000 miles. And then they do include one scheduled maintenance, uh, either one year or one visit, whichever comes first. And finally, economy. Well, 
16 city, 21 highway, and 18 combined. Not bad at all for a big 400 plus horsepower engine, pretty good. So that's my exterior review. If you missed any of the information in my review, you can rewatch the video and you can also check out the notes in the description down below. So let's take a look inside, but before we do, take a moment, give us a like, leave a comment, and do click on that subscribe button down below. So what do you say, Nate? Yep, your turn, take it away. All right, stepping on the inside of this beautiful 84 Sierra 1500. Oh, all the carbon fiber stuff right in here. I love that. And then up here, of course, you got your uh, express down power windows in the rear. You've got your auto up and down for the front. You've got your folding power folding mirror button, your window lockout, and then your mirror controls. Moving up, you've got uh, two person setting along with your easy exit, and then you've got your unlock and lock buttons right there. Right down here, you've got lots of storage. You've got a little area in the front, you've got a bottle holder, then a, a, quite a large storage area in the rear. The, uh, the seats themselves, both driver and passenger, are a total of 10 way power, so eight way power with two, two way uh, power lumbar. And this is what the seats look like. I just absolutely love them. The jet black and Kalahari inserts. I, the AT4 badging on the headrests. And then uh, one of the things I really like too is that just it carries everywhere. So it's on the dashboard here, the stitching carries through, it's on the steering wheel, okay? And then it's also uh, down here on the floor mats, you get an AT4 nice, a nice uh, metallic looking uh, AT4 badge on the rubber floor mat. And then of course uh, on the door sill by assist all over the place and it looks wonderful all right underneath here of course. you got your uh, standard pedals you have your foot rest you have your uh, hood release right here this does have an electric parking brake which is located here up here you have all of your auto lights right here this is your fog lamps okay and then up here you've got your dashboard brightness and dimness here you have uh, your uh, mirror lights and then over here you have your bed light and then up here, you've got your mode selector. So you have normal sport and uh, normal sport and off-road. And then you have a tow haul mode as well. Uh, and then you have uh, uh, auto four-wheel drive, two high, four high, or four low. Now, in addition to that, this does have the 15-inch HUD display. So you have uh, um, the HUD up and down, uh, raise or lower it. You've got the information selector, and then you've got bright and dimness. And it is just an amazing HUD display. GMC has done such a nice job on that. It is really, really, really nice. All right, let's step inside and give it a start. All right, it is of course a push start. So we have already made a video that's a detail on, on the driver's information system and the infotainment system. And if you would like to get, uh, watch that video, you can click on the link above. All right. So uh, over here, you've got your analog tack, you've got your analog speedometer along your gear selector, and then you have, have a dri digital driver's information center. So moving back to the left side of the steering wheel, these are all your cruise control buttons, and this is uh, has uh, dynamic radar cruise control. So this is your gap setter, uh, and you have your heated steering wheel button. This is your on off. This button will cancel your cruise. It'll also, if you push and hold it for 1.5 seconds, it'll take it out of adaptive cruise and put it into normal cruise control, and then vice versa if you want to switch back. The set and resume are not uh, physical buttons. They operate on this rubber uh, dial in the middle. Over on the right, you have voice command, which of course runs a lot of things in the car, uh, including your media, your telephone, your navigation, um, and um, just, it's very, very, very convenient. These buttons here control your driver's information screen. Of course, this is, uh, can be used as a mute button for the audio, or it can also be used to cancel a phone call. Okay. Now, um, on the backs of the steering wheels, on either side, there are two sets of buttons. Okay, The ones on the left uh, control your favorites. So that's for like your media. And the ones on the right are your volume. 
All right, let's move on over to the entertainment system. Now, uh, this is the eight inch inter uh, infotainment system. It includes uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, uh, Sirius XM, uh, you can get 360L. Um, you can get uh, 4G LTE uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on here. You have the Marketplace and you have Amazon Alexa. So, and 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 it's um, 14 speaker Bose sound system. So the sound is great. And between um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Am Amazon Alexa, there really isn't anything you can't control just from voice. Because this will uh, uh, the voice command will let you pass through to use Siri on your Apple phone or a Google Assistant on your Android phone. This truck has the trailering app on it, which, which does amazing things to help you uh, hook up your trailer and drive safely. Um, and some of it you can run off an app off your phone, whether it's Android or Apple. And you can actually like do a light check and it will go along and flash lights for you and you can control it from your phone. But this thing has, believe it or not, 15 different cameras it can use. Now some of them are built into the truck and these are the ones that you see here. So the yellow dot in the front indicates that it's, oh, hello, squirrel. You can see the squirrel by the truck. Uh, down here it would be the back camera. If I, so if I clicked it once, I'm now using the rear camera. And that's the way it works. Anything has got two dots. And then the blue shows you where what you're looking at. However, if I click here, you have got additional. This is the bed view. Okay. And then I can magnify and go on the hitch view if I want. But then you also have, um, this is a, a, a trailer view, and this is the, I, I believe this is the one that's the ghost out. So basically it shows you your hitch, part of the bottom of your trailer from, you know, from the front, and then it ghosts it out and shows you whatever's trailing behind your trailer. Um, one of the, uh, one of these, and I can't tell because I can't turn them on, but one of them will attach to a camera that's in the back of your trailer. This one's for the camera that is actually inside of your trailer. I mean, it's just crazy um, how, how many cameras this thing will hook into, but it's a total of 15. So, uh, down below that, you have a few physical controls. You've got your home button. You've got a skip forward, skip backwards, uh, skip backwards, skip forward button. You have a back button, which just puts you on the next screen or the last, takes it back one step. Uh, push for power, rotate for volume. This is also a tune and, uh, tune and scroll button for your radio, but will also, as you can see, help you navigate through your screen. And when you find something you like, you can just push on it. Moving down from here, you do have all physical controls for your climate control, which I really, really like, including all your heated and ventilated seats. So yeah, this is a dual zone auto climate control. The driver's temperature settings here, passengers is here. It's just a rotary dial. I like it when they have a physical sync button. And then of course you have your auto uh, climate control button right here. You have all your typical um, climate control buttons here along with a on off and a fan speed. Now down here you have uh, two different heating uh, set selections you can make. The first First one, um, it will heat the back and the bottom of your seat. The second one will heat just the back of your seat. And then of course you have a ventilated seat which is three stages. And it's the same on both sides. Down below that, you have your lane keeping assist right here, turn on or off, your parking sensors turn off, turn on or off, and this does have front and rear parking sensors, plus 15 cameras, and I'll show you that in a minute. It has uh, the tailgate down button right here, hazards, you've got traction control on or off, and then you can turn the power plug on or off, and then your hill descent control. Down here you have your trailer brake controller. You have uh, two USBs, this one is a USB-C, uh, and then you have a 12 volt outlet right here. And then you do have uh, one of your outlet, three pronged outlets right here. Now below that you've got a nice storage tray and then you do have a wireless charger, which I think is so nice. You do have two nice cup holders down here, a huge pass through and big enough to actually have some separate storage right there. On the armrest, I always like it on these full-size pickups here where you've got plenty of room for uh, driver and passenger armrest, a little rubberized storage area. Inside of here is a huge storage area. You can fit like two, two gallons of milk and you've got uh, you know two USB ports here and uh, you've got a 12 volt outlet um, and it's just, I mean, it's just massive storage. All right, 
glove compartments. Um, you know, this is the top. It's got two. It's got one up here and one down here, and both are quite large uh, inside. And the fact that you have two, just you, know, you put all the papers up here and then put whatever you want to store down there, or vice versa. But lots and lots of storage. All right, moving on up here, you do have the digital rear view mirrors. And anytime you have a digital rear view mirror, you have several options. So this one can zoom, it can tilt, uh, it can, and then change brightness. And then you use these two buttons to adjust everything. Okay, but uh, it's just a day night switch. If I go like this, I now have the regular mirror. If I pull the day night switch, I'm back to digital. Okay. Uh, up here you've got a bunch of your safety buttons and then you do have here this this is the button that will determine whether your dome lights come on when you open the door or not this one here turns all of your dome lights on front and rear these of course are just a push and this does have a sunroof in it uh, it's not panoramic but it's a sunroof it's a manual shade and this is the slide and this is the tilt and then this is your power rear window Okay, so I, I love that part rear window. That's really cool. And both of the visors have lights on either side and they are telescoping as well. All right, let's step into the second row and see what it's like. All right, stepping in, into the back here, I don't have to squat to show you the door because it's a big pickup. You got that nice uh, carbon fiber look right here and again on the door trims. And then you got your, um, uh, power window switch. You do have a large storage area. I wouldn't say it's a bottle storage, uh, um, but it's two different storage areas here. And you could put a bottle in there. It's just not rounded off like we normally see. Uh, one of your bow speakers here. Both of the seats have map pockets uh, behind them. And then you got uh, dual cup holders right here. Both upboard seats are heated. And you have dual USBs, plus you have a 12 volt outlet. Now, uh, the, the seats themselves have some interesting features. So if I take this and I just pull this out, you've actually got some storage area right back behind the seat. So uh, for the bottom of the seat to fold it, there's no release switch. You just simply push it up and there you go. And you've got storage tray down here along with a nice, much larger floor area for storage. So if you're not carrying people in the second row, you've got a small pickup bed back here. And then to push it back, it's just a pull again. All right, let's step in and, and see uh, about headroom and legroom. Okay, as soon as I dial the international code to the front seat, I'll let you know how much knee room I have. <sighs> Four-door pickups are the largest vehicles I think probably made besides large SUVs. But I've got, over, I've got a foot or better of space, okay? Uh, I have got uh, plenty of room. It is raised seating. So the rear seats are a little bit higher than the front seats. Um, they're they're comfortable, um, but headroom wise, well, I'm I'm in kind of kind of inside of a little well that's in the roof here. It's indented in back here or in, and I've probably got close to you know three and a half four inches of headroom. So and I'm five foot eleven and a half. Um, there is a center armrest right here that pulls out. I do like it that it's elevated. And you got two cup holders and another little storage uh, area right here or a pass-through for a phone if you want. Now, one of our viewers asked a question one day about uh, foot room underneath the seats. So I thought I would just show this. Um, you know, I had the driver's seat adjusted for me um, and I do like it up a ways, but right now I've got you know, a couple inches of foot room. So if you're one of those people that got long legs and it tends to go under the seat, I think you'd be okay. Overall, just a really, really nice truck. Um, not a thing to not like about it. I love the AT4 package on the inside. And uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Well, that's our review of the GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. And we appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure to follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and please do click on that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching. Okay, and my favorite thing, these absolutely gorgeous wheels. Nice combination with these uh, all-season tires. Good looking wheels there. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite thing. So my very very favorite thing is this 15 different possible camera angles.